crisscrosses all these different themes of Silicon Valley and power and the way that these big companies are increasingly flexing and sort of changing the landscape. I'm in a remote part of eastern Idaho, and in fact, I can hear gunshots a mile or so away. Um, and I'm here to talk about nuclear power and Silicon Valley money. So when you talk to tech people these days and you ask them, as I always try to, what do you think is the most overlooked story right now? They all say the electrical grid and the fact that we're going to run out of power, run out of electricity in the coming years. And that's because these are all people who are, of course, making new systems that are going to require incredible amounts of power, whether it's an electric vehicle or trying to electrify your kitchen range or the big one, AI, which requires these big processing centers. What these folks want more than anything else is much, much more power. And that's in both the sort of figurative and literal sense, right? But, but in this case, I'm talking literally. They want power in terms of the electricity that's going to power their creations. And with that, of course, requires the sort of the power, or at least the sort of authority, the, the, the regulatory permission anyway, to try to pursue this kind of stuff. So anyway, why am I in eastern Idaho? There is a facility about an hour outside of Idaho Falls uh, called the Idaho National Labs. Back in the 80s, they, they played with something called a fast reactor, this fission reactor that cools down not with water but with liquid metal basically and that design is now the basis of a new design that this company Oklo is pursuing and that's who I was here to talk to so Oklo is a company that wants to make a 15 megawatt reactor using spent fuel from this facility they would otherwise have to go buy it somehow in the world and they can't do that so they, they are going to reuse what the U.S. government can give them uh, and, and create this, this uh, new kind of reactor that, or it's an old kind of reactor, but, but release it commercially is the idea and sell power from it. And what's so interesting about this company, from it, the, you know, so I, 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 this is my last story for NBC. It's my last assignment for NBC. And I didn't have to do this. I could have stayed home and phoned it in. But I wanted to come and do this story because it crisscrosses all these different themes of Silicon Valley and power and the way that these big companies are increasingly flexing and sort of changing the landscape without much in the way, arguably, of any, you know, democratic input. In this particular case, Oaklo, the chairman of the board of that company, is Sam Altman, the uh, OpenAI founder. And he is really big on nuclear. He's funding this company. He's, he's in another one as well. There's a bunch of these Silicon Valley uh, people funding these kinds of efforts. And he has said it's because AI requires huge amounts of power. The processing centers, the computing, right, required to make AI possible requires huge amounts of power. And so this raises on the one hand, a logistical question, like if we really are going to pursue a world in which AI does everything for us and we're going to electrify our cars and we're going to electrify our kitchen ranges, then we're going to need a lot more power. How are we going to do that? Is this the climate friendly energy solution we need or is this us turning back to a technology that that, you know, Americans have more or less sort of abandoned over the last 40 years? I mean, nuclear power has stalled in the United States over the last 40 years. Ever since the creation of the new Nuclear Regulatory Commission, you know, nobody has really gotten a new reactor design off the ground. And, you know, only one new reactor is opened. A bunch of them have closed, you know, so the time of nuclear in the United States is arguably kind of been over. So do we need to restart it sort of for logistical reasons? But then there's this philosophical question, which is that does this actually serve humanity's purposes or does this just serve the purposes of somebody like Sam Altman who needs power, both literally and figuratively, in order to make his companies possible? And so I just thought this was a really fascinating thing and it really brings together, it encapsulates so much of what I've done at my time at NBC and so much of what I've tried to cover here. And so um, coming out and, and being, you know, looking at the ways in which we are going to restart nuclear power in this country if the Silicon Valley people get their way. And it may be the right thing to do. I mean, let me just point out here, like the, the, the design of the, of the nuclear reactor is really interesting. Um, it doesn't explode in the way that a Fukushima would. Those kinds of conditions have been tested on this design. And, you know, it's much safer. But it still creates nuclear waste, and we still don't know what to do with that, right? So uh, a very interesting new place, and that's why... I came out here to freezing ass <laughs> Idaho uh, to see 
the cutting edge of this effort to restart nuclear power in this country.